my greatest motivation would be that there's no one in my position who's done what I'm trying to do. <laughs> there's no mainstream Muslim woman director who's created a film or a TV show or, or you know, a YouTube channel who has come to the forefront as the voice for Muslim women. And I don't think I want to be the voice for all Muslim women in the world because that's impossible. But I want to do stories that I can relate to. I want to bring to light stories that were relevant to me and my community. And I want to be known as an artist. Um, so that's what motivates me is that there's no one who's gained enough traction in the film world to say like, oh, she's the, Mus the first Muslim director who's won an Oscar, you know? Uh, so there's always a way to go higher and to go bigger. And I'm always just trying to get to the next level. Um, I think I'm trying to do that with some humility though. <laughs> I don't want to become a snobby Hollywood person who, you know, makes their production assistant bring them lunch every day and cut their sandwich a certain way. Because I've seen that happen on sets. I've seen that happen and I don't want to be that person. I want to rise up to quote unquote fame or um, to the limelight with some humility and some dignity left within me. So I'm trying to navigate that world. And what motivates me is things that keep happening in the news. I keep seeing Muslims being demonized as terrorists. Um, we just had the Charlie Hebdo attacks in France and that was really hard to see that my religion was being framed in this way. So things are gonna keep happening and until we change the narrative, um, for Muslims, it's not going to get better. So until I see an awesome Muslim girl on mainstream television or in a movie that I can say I can relate to that girl, I'm not going to stop.